hey guys today we will do velocity propagation from link to link so here we will consider the linear velocity and the angular velocity of the links of a robot here each link in the manipulator is capable of motion relative to its neighbor suppose we have joints and two links so motion of this link that is link i plus one will be affected by the link i this is what velocity propagation is in uh, in short that is the velocity of link i plus 1 will be affected by the velocity of link i here we will be considering two type of velocities that is first is the linear velocity and the second is the angular velocity so now velocity propagation what do we mean by velocity propagation it states that the velocity of the link i plus 1 will be that of link i plus whatever the new velocity components were added by i plus 1 what they mean to say is that suppose we have two links this is i plus one link this is i link the velocity of this will be same as that of i that is velocity of this link that is link i plus one will be same as the velocity of link i plus whatever component whatever of whatever component of additional velocity is added to is added to i plus 1 link so this is what the velocity propagation means in short we are just going to find out the uh, angular and the linear velocity of link i plus 1 with respect to link i so now let us first draw a diagram in which we will describe link i and we will state what are the velocities in it that is first of all we will draw the joint This is the link and this is the second joint so now we will first of all draw the axis that is the axis of rotation will be z this is known as z i cap then perpendicular to it will be x i x i cap and then perpendicular to both of them will be y i cap now we will be writing the velocities that is this will be the velocity component of link i and this will be the linear velocity of link i this is link i and this will be the linear velocity and the angular velocity component will be given by i omega i this is the angular velocity component and this is the link i now we can say that the velocity of the link i is given by is given by the vectors omega i and v i which may be written in any frame that is these velocities will be expressed in the terms of the link frame itself rather than the base coordinate frame so now let us draw another diagram in which we will also consider a second link so let me draw it below that is we have the first joint over here with link i going over here and joining it to the second joint that is this is the second joint now we will draw the axis that is this is the z axis z i cap and perpendicular to it we have the x i cap and similarly we have z i plus 1 i cap and perpendicular to it we have x i cap i plus 1 now we are saying this as i plus 1 because this is link i plus 1 and this is link i now we are going to plot the velocity components of the linear and the angular velocities of both uh, the link i and link i plus 1 that is this is the velocity component for linear velocity of link i and this is the angular velocity component of link i now similarly we are going to plot the linear velocity component for link i plus 1 which will be given by i plus 1 v i plus 1 and the angular velocity component will be given by i plus 1 omega i plus 1 if you want you can also write the uh, y component also that is y component will be here 
y i cap and this will be y i plus 1 cap so now this is link i and this is link i plus 1 so now we will draw the pointer which will point from this point that is from one joint to the other joint that is this point we will call it i p i plus 1 velocity vectors of the neighboring frame that is the these are the velocity vectors with respect to this frame or this link and these velocity vectors that is the linear and the angular velocity vector uh, components belong to this this joint or this frame that is link i so now we are going to find out the angular velocities of the second frame that is this one with respect to the first frame or we are going to find out the angular and the linear velocities of the second link with respect to the linear and the angular velocities of the first link so now let us do that that is first of all we will write the angular velocities of link i plus 1 with respect to frame i so now we will get that i plus 1 omega i plus 1 is equal to i plus 1 r into omega i plus theta naught i plus 1 into i plus 1 that cap and below we will write i plus 1 so this is the angular velocity of link i plus 1 with respect to frame i so now you must be wondering that from where did i get r and from where did i get theta do not worry these things are not to be explained in detail you just need to learn this formula or just learn this equation and write it in the exam along with the diagrams that i have drawn above along with the explanations and the definitions now this is the angular velocity of link i plus one now we are going to write the linear velocity component linear velocity of link i plus one that is the linear velocity of link i plus one will be i plus one vi plus one which will be equal to i plus 1 r here we will write i whole into v i v i plus i omega i cross i p i plus 1 so this is the linear velocity of link i plus 1 again do not worry that how did we get this just learn this equation and write it in the exam there is no need to go into the detail of finding out this equation so these are the two most important equations when we are considering velocity propagation from link i to link i plus 1. In short, we can say that velocity propagation is the velocity of link i plus 1 with respect to the uh, link i such that other velocity components are also added to i plus 1 which are compensated in this equation that we have written. So learn these two equations that is uh, 1 and 2 and learn all these diagrams along with their definition and explanation and this is all for this video if you were able to understand that uh, what is velocity propagation and you found it really helpful then write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that it was helpful to you so this is it for this video see you in the next one